Welcome to Oil 101. Today we're going to talk about contango versus backwardation. You hear a lot about contango and backwardation of the oil price curve in the financial press. The first thing to understand is that crude oil futures, like most other commodities, are not priced as a single data point like an equity or stock. There are futures contracts for each month heading out many years into the future. And when you hear the current price of oil on the news, what you're usually getting is the price of the front month contract, but there's much more to the story. The price curve is established when you plot the prices of the contracts going out into the future. The shape of this curve, determined by whether the front months are cheaper or more expensive than the back months, tells a lot about the current and future expectations of the supply-demand balance. So what is contango? A contango market occurs when the prompt crude oil futures fall below those further out in the future. These prices reflect the current as well as future expectations of oil prices. It is important to note that a contango price structure is considered normal for a non-perishable commodity like crude oil and products, which have a cost of carry. What this means is that if you were to buy some crude oil today and store it for sale later, you would incur such costs as transportation, storage fees, and interest for gone on money that is tied up in inventory. Therefore, you would expect a higher sales price in the future to recoup these costs. A steep contango curve can also suggest that there is currently pressure on the front months due to an oversupply, lack of demand, or some combination of the two in the marketplace. Plotted in a chart with time on the x-axis and oil prices on the y-axis, these points create what is called the oil price curve. So what is backwardation? The opposite of contango is a backwardated market, where there is a premium on current oil prices over the future. This occurs when there is increased demand for a product now, as can be the case in an expanding global economy or in times of supply constraint, such as wars or unrest in the Middle East. A market that is steeply in backwardation often indicates a perception of current shortage in the commodity and will encourage owners of the product to pull it out of storage. So that's a brief explanation of contango versus backwardation. For more about our free Oil 101 Introduction to Oil and Gas Materials, be sure to visit www.ektinteractive.com. See you next time. Thanks.